within the facility, we have got different sensors that are operating all the time, 24 hours. They all go back to cloud. So that gives us that gives us data, and then we are able to look at temperature, humidity, light levels, CO2 levels, fertilizer, uh, ECPH, all the different parameters as required for the vegetables to grow can be calibrated. As a farmer or as an operator, you have a lot of information sometimes through checking and analyzing of the water quality and animal health. We are trying to create a program, a software, that will help to take all this information from a different sources and put them together and give you a better picture of your cultural condition. We have so far not really recovered back our cost because first of all we haven't reached to the maximum capacity of production and the second, uh, the cost of doing this business in Singapore is much much more higher than any other place. And for the agriculture and aquaculture industry, the resources are very limited. For example, if my pipe broke and I want to buy certain pipe in Singapore, it's not available. I'm already seeing some startups in Singapore in the agri food tech space. They are already exporting some of their technology equipment overseas. So Singapore is ranked number one in the food security index. So when we export something and it's related to food, I believe the world would feel safe. <laughs>